This whole region, like Eastern Washington specifically, it's where our creation stories come from. There are layers of our storytelling that are about tribal history, family history, lived experiences, but the overall arch is about healing. Our performance is very much ceremony. It's quite amazing to be an artist here. A lot of our art is like rendering life, the moments I've had with my family, by myself, just quiet moments. There's no reason to leave Yakima. There's just an endless amount of disconnection everywhere. The really beautiful and special thing about performance is people being in the same room together. We really want audience to be awakened and feel something, or question something, or be disturbed or delighted. Seattle in the 90s, there was more space and opportunities, I think, to be creative. We almost moved a couple times, but we realized, wow, we have a very special community here because we stayed here, we nurtured it, and we were nurtured back. And even organization like Artist Trust, too, it's really watching out for each other. It feels really comforting. Right after leaving college, it was during the pandemic, I was scouring all the resources online, and one of them was Artist Trust. I saw that their GAP Award was open, and that year it was a little bit different. It was for artists of color in certain regions too. I remember it being like, oh, that's perfect. That's like just for me. I got the GAP Award, which helped me get the studio space I have right now. It just opened so many doors for me. And as each storm passes, and the sunlit skies open before our eyes, we're reminded of a beautiful horizon. Us sharing our stories as a means of community building, both here in Spokane and around the Inland Northwest, but also back on the reservation, reaching that youth and inspiring that creativity and, and feeling powerful, but also inspiring others to, to think in a different way or see the world a different way. I can't express enough into how impressed I am with Artist Trust. Them coming to us saying, hey, how can we help serve you? And that was the first time we'd ever seen that, you know? And boy, we were blown away, like, oh, wow. Like, they see value in what we're building here and want to help us. For so many artists that I know, it was their first grant. And it was the process of applications, the process of, you know, growing with an organization that open them up to so many other resources. There's a lot of grant opportunities that come once in a lifetime. But when there's a consistent support over time, it can become part of the puzzle, a very challenging puzzle of surviving and thriving as an artist.